I'm going to do something a little different today than I usually do with the cutting the trees down. I'm going to fell them, limb them up, and just buck the logs up into six to eight foot lengths. And any of the sawmill trees, like this one after I cut off some of the curve here, maybe I could get a 4 by 4 out of it, but... It might not happen. But like this one, I could get a short piece out of. Oh, actually, cut it from here. Might be able to get an 8 or 10 footer out of it. Maybe, you know, some 6 inch and uh, maybe some 4 inch out of there. But what I'm going to do is just cut the trees down. Oh, that's the way it was leaning, so this is going to suck.
Yeah, you can see that the uh, battery saw does a lot of work as long as you're not cutting up the firewood, at least this 40 volt model. The 80 volt model has comes with the same uh, amp hour rating battery at 2 amp hours, but at 80 volts, that's a lot more wattage available in that battery. So, and that's one of the main reasons why the 80 volt is rated for a lot more cuts than the 40 volt unit. But still, got three trees cut up in the limp, cut down, limbed up, and then it can process the logs later. Chipped up what I could within reasonable reach, and then the uh, logs are kind of in the way of a trip hazard. So that's all the logs I got out. A couple of them may look like they could have been for the sawmill, but they just have too much curve in them. You might have gotten a two by four out of them, that would have been about it. 
out of the, the biggest one. Those battery saws can't do anything compared to my gasoline saws. Har, har, har. Yeah. Uh, in an hour, I got three trees cut down, cut up into firewood for processing later. And this is just for the purposes of clearing a driveway, getting it done quick instead of cutting it up into firewood. If I was cutting up into firewood, I only would have gotten maybe half of the work done with that battery charge. But instead... I got twice the work done because I planned ahead to be a little more efficient. Cut that up the process later. I got the brush chipped. That was mainly from the first tree. And the other stuff is floating around out there. This is part of the uh, second tree I cut down. It's actually a pretty good hump. It's about a foot high where the needles are. Right there. You no, know, sorry, a little tickle in the throat, but yeah, I got one more battery and I could do those three trees easily on, on the fresh battery. I have a little bit of juice left in this one, but I'm not sure how much. Let's see, after the next three trees, the second battery is down to two lights or two bars. Got about two lugs each out of those three trees for, uh, you know, firewood. They were pretty small. And because of their size and a few less cuts, that's why this saw did three trees, uh, based nearly half a charge or maybe just over half. Because uh, it would be nice if it gave a, a solid bar with a little light each bit of the way to get a better exact charge. But, yeah, that probably cost us a couple of bucks. But it did three trees with less charge than the first battery because those trees are bigger. And you can see that is really wide open now. All I have to do is limb those trees up, have a really good uh, construction driveway. 
the plan is to give the trucks as straight a shot as possible right through there. So I may have to take out, I'm going to be taking out these five trees. A couple of them are going on the sawmill. Might get a 4x4 four four out of a couple. Some maybe uh, some 6 inch uh, lumber. Then take out 4 to 6 trees on the corner. Hard to see it, but you know, follow the trail. 4 to 6 trees there. Then maybe another one or two over here to give it a really straight shot. This one I could probably get by with limbing up and not have to cut that down. A few more minutes with the uh, Yard Max Chipper and got that much done. It's looking really nice. Give you a view of that box the tree I was talking about. I'll walk down over here. You can see it right there, that scraggly looking thing. And I'm I'm not sure but if that one's alive or dead. It's probably still alive, but there's a lot of dead branches, so that one's going to come out. But not until after I limb all this up. And this is it for the season of uh, clearing land. I might do a little projects here and there, like uh, brushing out stuff, but that depends on the temperature and snow cover if it's going to be 10 degrees and blown like a son of a gun i'm not going to be out here if there's snow i'm not going to be able to get back here at the van because i'll, I'll end up getting stuck and i don't want to hit a stump in the snow so i'd have to park with my gear over there you know, unless the uh, snow cover is very thin then i might then i can get back here so this could be, this is probably, like I said, it's probably it for the year, but I'll do what I can to keep up on videos, do a little video here, video there when I can. And I'll definitely get snowblower footage of doing a path from the road all the way back here. If I go all the way back to the summer, you're looking at 700 feet. That's asking a lot for that little Toro, but I figured that might make for a good video if the snow cover is thin, so... We'll see how it goes this winter.